Shalom la bakhayar yum shal yashala. Peace be to the elect of the nation of Israel. Wa ka la yum la al hayna wa yahawa ba hashem. Yahawa shai ba hashem wa chakudash. All praises to our power. Yahawa ba hashem. Yahawa shai. Which Yahawa is the true almighty and powerful name of the heavenly father who the world even calls God. And his only begotten son's name is Yahawa shai. The world even calls Jesus Christ. Ba Hashem in the name, Recha meaning spirit, Kodash is holy, which I uttered in the Paleo Hebrew. Blanks has been returned back onto the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the so called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, and those that have been scattered abroad across the four winds, the Israelite foreigners, that are dispersed throughout the countries, which lineage go back to one of the twelve sons of Jacob, which Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Which is he, the Prince of Power in Hebrew, Yashar Allah, translating to to you. Of course, I say Shalom to the elect of you, which are the chosen of the chosen nation of Israel, whom are allotted to salvation, which includes the hundred and forty-four thousand prophets, the head, Rashim, Hanabayim, the the heads, the the. Nabiyayim, the prophets, Shal Yashada of Israel, which will be speaking the words of the Lord, in which the rest of the nation, the rest of the one third, which are men, women, and children, will believe in the words which they speak, which they speak, the prophets I speak of, speak the words of the Lord. And that's, of course, where we are delivered by of course having that seal given to us the thawa which will make us exempt from judgment Yahweh uh, we be a part of the elect we of course give forth our diligence to make our call and election sure and that's why we do these videos to wake up the elect fishing for the elect fishing for men who dare so calling out is to the men As it's written in the scriptures. Of course, I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles that great millstone who were well. Shane Kabai, La Shala Yachim, now it was a conium, now it shall Yasha Allah. But Shanya means double. Kabad is honor, lies too. Shala Yachim, now is our apostles. Wa is in. So conium, now is. Elders, our and Godwala Rakub means great millstone. Baha Bariath, Baha Lashwan Kodash. In the Hebrew, in the Lashwan Kodash, which is the holy tongue. Shemya Amafa, Mayan, Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp. My name is Amafa from the Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp. Located here, Baha Ayar, in the city. Of Philadelphia coming again with another we lesson to the Kodash is the Holy Spirit and my shot math a math or of truth we have on the screen clue this actually it says could this, this is the uh, actual headline which the Ach I believe he's from Great Millstone Ancient of Days camp in LA you have of course a lot of your pa videos of the uh, the chariots, the cubium. Um, so you have it here. Could this actually be an angel ascending into a chariot? It's the chariots is what they call so-called UFOs, or unidentified flying objects, or also aerial phenomenons in this time. Under, of course, the wicked rulers being Esau, Edom. Okay. Which by now you should of course know who is Esau Edom. There's a widespread censorship upon the truth that's spreading afar, which the famine of word is definitely upon us coming to its full fruition, where we are receiving a lot of these various copyright strikes because of the whole persecution upon this truth 
which they deem as Shana. Amar are hate speech. So we have to, of course, choose our words wisely. So Esau Edom, we know, is the wicked. Who, of course, the earth is given unto the hand, too. Which those elite bankers and such, they belong to the stock of Esau Edom. So you have here on the screen this video, which I'm going to see if it plays. As you can see, it may play in a lag, and you see that right there. This circle, you have, you see a beam of light, and you see something, of course, going up or ascending Bashamayim into the heavens. That's an intense beam of light, and I can see here another, you say, it has to be the angel if, of course, you know, this is 100% being actual real account, which Yahweh Ratzah, I believe it is. It don't look like any CGI is done here, no computer generated graphics or anything. see that and of course you got to ignore this foolishness here <laughs> on the right of this the screen so you see something just got beamed up which that be a uh, if this is true this would be a uh, angel all right get beamed up and you see the the, the the beam of light went away okay so there you go and there's, you know, if you go on this actual page with the Ach um, from LA, GMS, Word of Life, there's plenty of like, video accounts of these various chariot sightings, which there are foreign, okay, in a sense where people say, is it alien? Well, alien means foreign, which of course it is of the heavens, celestial. Okay, it's out of this world, but isn't it what most people think of when they see or hear about UFOs, which they think of green men, or you have there this pale um, life form looking thing, um, which is, that's of course demonization. Okay, so of the angels, which the angels are Malaah Kayum, which they're ang they're uh, messengers, servants of Yahweh Shem Al Shai, right? So, you know, through the spirit, I was just meditating on this, you know, just for this day, because this is the this is the times in which we, of the hopeful elect. We hope to see with our own eyes to be, of course, delivered from Babylon or the various places where we've been scattered to, because this is the vessels of our salvation, the strangeness of our salvation, which I've been covering in, in uh, previous lessons this week. The Spirit has been, the Habercha Kodash has been. Kabad upon speaking on our deliverance by chariots. It just Yapa is what Pala is is beautiful and wonderful La Ra'a to, to look or see. So going into the scriptures, you have to understand this is gonna be in the like fashion in which we're gonna Lord will, Yahweh Ratzazah, we be a part of the elect. We leave from this captivity. And of course, be ever with Yahweh Shai. So this is going to be, I'm going to start at, I believe, the book of Isaiah. 
Let's go to that. And this this video is for educational purpose only. Esau, don't try to, of course, take down the video. It's educational purpose only. The music, all everything, is is educational purpose only. No, Esau trying to take videos down for back back background music and such. Um, with the algorithms and just trying to get this word from going out there but Yahweh Shemel Shah is with us you can't do nothing against the truth before the truth alright so I have to see if I can find that scripture it may be Isaiah 65 or let me see Isaiah 65 Okay, the book of Isaiah, chapter 65. Looking for the scripture where it says, I shall not meet thee as a man. Or 66. Or 47. This is Isaiah chapter 47. And 3 it says, thy, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. Which this of course will be Hanabiah, the prophet, Yeshaya, Isaiah. Speaking, all right. Well, this would be Yahweh, Yahweh, uh, shy speaking, of course, through the prophet Isaiah. Okay, do not meet thee as a man. This is a prophecy. It says, As for our Redeemer, Yahweh, uh, Tazabah Wath is his name, the Holy One of Yahshua Allah. So, the Lord is not going to meet thee as a man because he's coming, is on his second coming via these chariots and as a angelic power okay a celestial angelic power or, um, you know out of this world just, just just going to it okay maybe extra I mean it's like it you know it's just gonna be out of this world okay when you have a shot come back which as it says in the scriptures Required will be the book of Isaiah 66 and 16. For a while, it reads I'm going to start actually at the book of fit or the verse of six or 15. Isaiah, Yeshua 66 and 15. For behold, Yahweh will come with fire. With his chairs like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury, his rebuke with flames of fire. His chariots are, of course, these so called UFOs, which Yahweh Shai is coming down, of course, with the wrath of the Most High, and is, and of course, him coming to bring forth judgment for the elect to bring and stomp down. All of his enemies. That be of course. Esau, Edom. The rest of the Edom. Hagawayam. And of course since our people. Two thirds of them. Are rebellious. They have to receive judgment as well. Reading on it says. Verse 16. For by fire. Alright. By ash. Alright. Ash. Or ash actually. Sach. Alright. Kaya. For. Ha. Ba. Is in. All right, our Ash, which is uh, fire. Yeah, it says here Yahweh. You got Na Shapat. Okay, Na Shapat, which I know that Shapat means to, of course, judge. 
That's what judge me. And then you got wa ba kharabwa, which I believe that is in. You have, I know karab is sword and was his. And you have ath, which I believe that's definitely um, call is all. Right? Um, Bashar, which is flesh. Wa. Wabawa. Which. That means. Oh, or yeah, going to uh, Rob, Slakia. Which. Wa, Rob, Wa. Which that means in many or abundantly. Right? That's Rob means much or many. Abundant. And you have. Uh, Chalalia Which Chalalia I have to go That means uh, Here They got slain or wounded or pierced Alright just to go into it in the Hebrew A wee bit And I can of course uh, Just go and double check something Give me a wee moment Just do this You know going through the spirit That was The book of Isaiah 66 and 16. Yeah, so it just say Ash or Kaya by Ash by fire. Yahweh Nah Nah Shapat is will judge. Okay, we got Wa Ba. Harab wa is in with his sword with which is Ath right call is all Bashar is flesh and, uh, and of course you got lastly I believe wa Rab wa which is shall be many or you, you know you got just Rab being that there may much or many And you have Lalia, the slain of. All right. And then lastly, of course, you got it says Yahweh there too. In the Hebrew text here, which I believe that will start. Yeah, Slakia. Quite a lot. And all right, so yeah, so you have it. The Lord is gonna bring forth much this death and destruction when He comes back. Shot, all right, and there's going to be a magnificent salvation, and that's going to be beautiful to see. All right, this is going to be the book of Isaiah, chapter 19 and 1. It says, The burden of Egypt, which Egypt is America, all right, is spiritually salt in Egypt. Okay, the place where our Lord was crucified, which you read back in Revelation chapter 11. It tells you that in their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified, being crossed out. Okay, that's here in America, where our Lord has been crossed out. Okay, the image of the Lord being a so-called dark-skinned man, all right, so-called black man, okay, man of color, crucified, okay, just that, to extinguish, let me see, all right, but just going to his crossed out. Simple as that. So, in a, you have Esau, Edom, who blasphemes everything in the scriptures because they're the wicked. They have nothing to do with the scriptures. So, 
this is spiritually called salt me Egypt so now so they get understand which is America going back to that, that precept was Isaiah 19 and 1 it reads the burden of Matazarium or Egypt means double straits Egypt behold Yahweh rideth or Yahweh rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence and the heart of Matazarium shall melt in the midst of it so you have Yahweh Shai which is sent them from of course he's going to get the the green light from the most high there's only the, the most high Yahweh knows when the time will be when he sends forth Yahweh Shai to deliver his elect okay you going to have Yahweh Shai come back which he rides upon a swift cloud, and the cloud, is, of course, is a another metaphor, or you know, dark saying a word of what actual chariot is. Okay, a swift, which swift means quick. Okay, which you can go into Hebrew. They got qual or, or quick or qualal from the root, which you got here to be swift also it says here fleet alright which that, that's due to spirit of power y'all by Shimei Ashai that's your pa because we know Yahweh Shai isn't it going to be alone alright which that's going to go into the next preset which we're going to go but we're going to go into this word for fleet which the word for fleet defined will be this the largest group of naval vessels under the commander under one commander all right that'd be how a shy which you have I mean in a sense naval let me see I want to look up something with Navy I'm gonna see if I could take this somewhere where you have it where naval there's of course Navy naval let's see naval Okay, so naval goes into you see nothing really in there. You see naval. Not that's not the word. Navy naval. Not E. Slock it. Naval. Right. Which of one pertaining to ships. Or ships. Okay. Which there's going to be ships, meaning these so called UFOs, which are the chariots of Israel, the chariots of salvation. Okay. Which. If you know you go into even you know when you think of a navy day of course in the in the mayim in the in the water, which la shemayim or shemayim is pertaining to the waters, okay. So just to even go into it even deeper, all right. You know through thy precepts I get understanding. Of course we do diligent work to go into these words, you know, to break down the, the words the, the the scriptures rightly and correctly. As it's in Timothy's, it speaks of how to rightly divide the word of truth. Ha math. Let me see. So you got that qual, which means swift, light, and it has fleet. One who is swift. So it says, "The burden of Egypt, behold, how right upon a swift cloud." Right, so uh, you have, a, uh, of course, a, you're going to have, of course, your Howard Shy. You're going to have a big mountain sized chariot. And then you have, of course, the Holy Host is going to be with him. Okay. As you, you know, you read back in uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 68, 
speaks of which I'll just for the sake of edification and for my memory 68 okay Psalm 68 17 the, the chariots of the most high are 20,000 even thousands of angels which as I gave you in the Hebrew all right Rakab is your chariots right Alahayim which is uh, of, of course uh, you got the, the powers the judge you got the powers the judges all right Alahayim okay angels Okay, in plural sense, powers, Allah Hayyam. Allah being the root, being power, singular. Allah Hayyam being plural. Alright, so it says Rakab, Allah Hayyam. And then you got Ra, Bath, Yum. Okay, which I believe that's going into. If I go in, I have to go and probably check just to be sure, but I don't want to speak on it and not know it. So, Slocky, I'll get back to you on that one. Um, and I just, I just wanted to go into that. You got angels, which right here they actually have for angels, the Hebrew word they got here is Shana'an. Shana'an. Which just got repetition twice ten thousands. So it's gonna be a holy host. Suck you. Yeah. It says again, it says, even thousands of angels, the Lord is among them. So the Yahweh is gonna be there as in Sinai in the holy place. Okay. back we're gonna go back to the other original preset which is Isaiah 19 it says here that the Lord rises upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it you know so there's going to be all be putting down all these various idols these false gods which are are official they're not of course power they're just nothing but dumb objects okay left hand side they ain't most high y'all by shimel shy let's go to the revelations chapter one or revelation stocking revelation chapter one and seven it reads here behold he cometh with clothes and every eye shall see him and they also which pierced him and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him even so am I mine so you know Yahweh Shai is coming with clothes all right he's coming with the holy hosts or the angels all right and everybody's gonna see all of these angels here and that simultaneously as they are here you're gonna have that nuclear destruction. You're gonna have, of course, also that war in the heavens. All right, with the Esau East, with his space force and his air force trying to fight the angels. Yahweh Shai, and you're gonna have that de that deliverance of the elect, which. I seen this right here you know I'm just thinking I'm like man just to be beamed up because you know if you're part of this beaming up process you're gonna there's gonna be a changing process of you okay because as it is written in the scriptures
It's in Corinthians. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter fifteen, which it reads here. It says, First Corinthians fifteen and fifty. It says, Now I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cani or cannot enter the kingdom of the Most High. Neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. This body, of course, is corruptible. It decays and such. So, there has to be a changing process. It says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Let's go into that word for changed. So the word for changed goes into a Greek word Alalasso. Let's see if it says pronunciation. Yeah, Alasso. Dutch, which is a change, exchange one for another to transform. So there's going to be a transformation when, of course, Yahweh comes for the elect, delivers them to make a dramatic change in form, appearance, or character. Okay, there's going to be a complete transformation. Let's go. Reshaping. <laughs> Let's go into it further. And, and so you have it. We not shall all sleep. So we ain't going to all be put to death. You know, you're going to have ones that are not going to, of course, die or be um, martyrs. Being witnesses put to death. All right, by, of course, these Edomites, which are going to come down with great wrath upon the children of Israel, especially the elect chosen. It says here, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, I right, saw so before the missiles hit, which, you know, Job 5. Book of Job 5. In 19 it says he shall deliver thee in six troubles yea in seven troubles or in seven slach and several there shall no evil touch thee so the seven will be when the missiles hit okay so we're just right there you know, in between that time okay And that's how righteous are we be elect we predestined not the of course taste of the second death which is by nuclear fire also there will be fire which will be issued from the, the chairs themselves as well UFOs got the ability to shoot concentrated fire out of them out of their mouths right so alright going back and it says here Which also I want to okay. Well, let me see. I want to see something slack. So there's a lot, man. That's it's just crazy. It's like it's not crazy. It's just you think all the precepts that you can go into it just your pie. You just think of the truth. But um, it says, "For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality." All right. So we gotta, of course, receive. 
those new bodies, which kind of, of course, decay, which have the Lost Statue of Mammoths written on the inward parts. Because remember, we, of course, can sin, but you're, of course, the fulfillment of, you have the, uh, was that the second covenant? We will be having the Lost Statue of Mammoths written on our inward parts, getting, giving that uh, stony heart. Was it not having that? Was that the heart of flesh, Lucky? That's what it'd be. Let's see, just like Jeremiah. All right, so this is gonna be the book of Ezekiel, chapter thirty-six. And starting at verse 24, it says, For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries. So Israelites are scattered across the four winds. All right, all countries. Which I want to see that word country, Aratazah. It says, for countries is basically all lands. All right, Aratazah means land. Okay, earth. So they got Ma meaning from Call Which is all So from all Aratazawa Which that would be Countries Alright The Lands are the countries Basically all right, In Hebrew going on further and it says and I will bring you into your own land which that own land will be the, the land of Israel alright we of course are in captivity our land's been stolen from us so we being the Israelites being the actual ancient people of Israel but we brought there. Okay, because Yahweh Shah didn't come back yet. So those whom are there claiming to be us are not. Okay, simple as that. They're pseudo. <laughs> uh, of Adawam. It says here Amalek. <laughs> so anyway, it says here, and we'll bring you into your own land and then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you I, a new heart all right, a new mind a new heart okay yeah so you got live Kadash okay will I give you and a new spirit will I put within you and I will take away the stony heart out of your, your flesh and I will give you a heart of flesh and I will put my bracha, or my spirit within you bracha, ya, all right, and cause you to walk in the, my statues and ye shall keep my judgment and do them so we're going to be perfect it says, and ye shall dwell in the land that I will that I gave to your fathers, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your power, and I will save you from your uncleanliness, and I will call for the corn, and I will increase it, and lay no famine upon you. So we're going to be in perfect harmony and happiness, and they're going to ever be starving, hungry, and in the ghettos, and the various favelas and low places okay the shallow death in, in babylon wherever we isles we've been scattered to and where we're up under the curses we're going to be released from those chains okay of darkness being his flesh have extraterrestrial bodies all right bodies can dwell upon uh of course in the heavens and also on earth as well 
we're gonna be able to go up to visit the various planets many mansions we're gonna be able to do so much man it's gonna it's it, there ain't no words I on the barium all right there are no words in here it says now will multiply the fruit of the tree and increase of the field and ye shall receive no more reproach of famine among the heathen Okay, and this is just blessings, Barakium. Allah. Bachayar. The elect. The chosen. For all Israel. Because all Israel going to be saved ultimately through the seed of the elect. And they're going to come back in the, in, the, in the kingdom. Being that the two thirds that I'm speaking of. They're going to come through the seed of the elect. But this first, this blessing going to first come hit. You know, the, the, the elect that are going to be beamed up. In the chariots, you know, the Israel, the Most High. They got the first pickings because they will be the first fruits. Okay. Which have the best, chlap, alright, the best, the cream of the crop, they're the aristocrats. Alright, so I got one last precept. And, you know, Lord willing, I'll go into this in the further one. Oh, so, yeah, the, uh, the other precept, because um, the precept is going to be in the book of. Um, oh, Revelation chapter 15. And two, which it reads here. And actually, I'm going to bring out Isaiah 26, which is my, basically, is like one of my, if not one of my favorite precepts. Like Isaiah 26 and, what is it, 20? 6 and 20. It says, Come, my people, and enter in thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee, which thou be into the vessels, which are the chairs, being beamed up, as you see seen here this beam of light it's like being beamed up we are angels in the flesh also so that you know that we're messengers in the flesh so you know, this is basically this show you and it should give you hope get beamed up you know this is the strangeness of our salvation okay you see that get beamed up and you know you're out of course of the earth atmosphere which we're going to get into there's going to be destruction that's going to be occurring here. All right. It says, come a people. All right. His people, right? So it's talking about only his people. It's not talking about all nations. Only his people. That's possessive. That's another cut about all nations we can be saved and all that. That's, that's stupid. Okay. What does that say? Look, huh? See if this word for chambers is chadar, chadar, which is a room or innermost inner part. Which would be you'll be going into a chamber, being a uh, uh, so-called UFO. Cheers to Yahshua. Cheers to the Most High. It says, "And shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as if it were a little moment." Until the indignation be overpassed, which we know that, as is written in the scriptures in the book of Revelation, I believe in Revelation chapter 18, and 17, it says, and it says, for what in one hour so great wit riches is come to naught. And every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors, as many trade by 
see stuff afar off. It's only gonna take a, a, a actually, yeah, one over. Right? It says, let me see, where is it? Just read it somewhere else. It says, in Kaid, which is Revelation 18 and 18, in Kaid, when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like unto that this great city? Right? So, this is what is going to be happening. All right, with ice even fire, chariot fires from the chariots. Okay, which you see the smoke of, of you say the, of the burning being in Babylon. Okay, and there's going to be other various places of the earth that's going to be cleansed as well, such as Yahshua and like Israel are going to be completely cleansed. Other places too. But going on, now I want to go to precept which was the original inspiration of the lesson which is Revelation chapter 15 and 2 and this is the last Pequot it says and I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire so this would be looking down from the chariots okay do what um no the have that the whole ozone layer and such okay and them that had gotten the victory over the beast which the beast is nailing the EU and over his image the Roman system and over his mark which is the RFID microchip also known as the NFC chip so the elect will have that victory all right over his entire climate wickedness victory we got from the Greek Nikhail let me see what it says Strong's G Nikao. Nikao which it reads to conquer to be victorious over all his foes which are our foes the Edomites they are enemies okay uh, the rest, of course, you got the rest of the other nations. You read Psalms 83. Okay. It says, and over the number, it says, and over the number of his name, that's the what, the 666, stand on the sea of glass having harps of God. All right. Let me see if I can find another scripture. tell you about that that destruction too the nuclear missiles coming down too which it did give you a you know more of a depiction this is jo Joel chapter 2 and 9 they shall run to and fro in, in the city they shall run upon the wall and they shall climb up upon the houses they shall enter at in at the windows like a thief which is you know you're going to that the whole Ferment the ozone layer and such. Okay, so just to give you, uh, a, 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 you should be, of course, a visionary, a ra'a, you know, to see. Which is prophets of seers. We're just giving you the uh, vision so that you can understand what is coming. Okay, so that you can understand completely what the scriptures is talking about. So this would be us getting beamed up. Okay. This would be us as angels in Yahweh Shai as well, being picked up by the rest of the angels, being Yahweh Shai, being a chief angel, okay, and the rest of the uh, lesser um, angels un in order, that is. That is, I'm not speaking in less significance, meaning like meaning of no value. I mean, in this in order, okay. But this, of course, is all biblical, okay. So with that, you know, hopefully you're edified. It gives you, this gives you hope. You know, we're going to get caught up in the clothes. You know, received up. Yahweh Ratzazah would be the elect. Hopefully you're edified. 
and of course pray to be part of that number make your call election sure you don't want to be a part of that nuclear destruction. With that, I want to say, call Allah, Yimla, Allah, Hayyana, or Yahweh, Bashim, Al Shabbat, Shem, Kakodash, all praises to our power, Yahweh, Bashim, Al Shabbat, Shem, Kakodash, and double honors to our elders and apostles, that great millstone, Shalom, La Bachayaryo, Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel, Shalom.